Welcome to this Debaco University video. We'll be looking at carbon dioxide levels of 400 to 800 parts per million and how it relates to cannabis plant production. Okay, you're looking at enriching your area between 400 and 800 parts per million. What should you keep in mind? Let's get into the video content. Well, first off, realize that 400 parts per million is normal atmospheric conditions and elevating the levels above this will require the use of several pieces of equipment. The goal is to increase the overall plant yield. Now those pieces of equipment may be the ones included in the picture or it could be some other, but something is gonna be needed to be added. So the equipment list in general is gonna be a carbon dioxide source, a method of delivering that carbon dioxide in a monitoring system. Options will be discussed in other videos. This video focuses on the chosen range and its impact on the plants. The image that I have here just shows what a bottle system might entail. So first off, looking at that 400 to 800 parts per million, as the environment is enriched closer to the upper end of this range, the use of high powered lights becomes more advantageous. Under high light, the plants become carbon dioxide limited. Higher light can relate to increase in biomass. Now here we can see light intensity, we can see the relative rate of photosynthesis. And the key part here is at different carbon dioxide levels, we can see that there's a certain light saturation point. But as we increase the levels of of carbon dioxide, the saturation point or the light intensity is increased. So if we're only kind of at the atmospheric or lower end levels, we can get, get away with lower levels of light. As we increase carbon dioxide, plants can take advantage of that and increase their photosynthetic rate. So the target range of 400 to 800 parts per million, this enrichment level will cause the least amount of costs associated with purchasing carbon dioxide, no matter what source you choose to get that carbon dioxide from. This level is also the easiest to achieve. Uh, this can be the best for large grow areas and also small areas that have regular venting. So you're getting above those atmospheric conditions and you will potentially see that increase in yield as well, assuming no other limiting factors. Now you wanna consider the entire environment. So again, as I said, no limiting factors. Assuming other plant factors and environment are not limiting, there will be an increase in plant growth compared to atmospheric levels. What are those other factors to take into consideration? Light, water, air, temperature, and nutrient. All of those need to be uh, optimum. Now keep in mind when you're supplementing carbon dioxide and plants might wanna grow more aggressively, they may need more nutrients, they may need more water. Depending how you're adding the carbon dioxide, you might wanna watch the uh, temperature, the air circulation, all things to take into consideration. Now, the, the cost to benefit ratio. So there's different systems that can be set up, but a grower must consider the cost of the implementation of carbon dioxide enrichment system and also the expected rate of return on that investment. Comparing a few growth cycles of normal atmospheric conditions can provide a good baseline to develop your comparison to determine is it really going to be worth it. So why would you select this range of 400 to 800 parts per million? Well, this can be an initial range chosen to check to make sure all systems are working well with minimum risk of wasting carbon dioxide, which can get expensive. Often this can be due to required ventilation to see how much carbon dioxide is exhausted and how easy or hard it is to maintain levels even at this range. Also, growers can see just how quote unquote airtight their enclosures actually are. It's important if you're planting autoflowers because maximizing each day of the limited growing cycle is very important. So while many growers will shoot higher than the 800 uh, part per million level, shooting that 4 to 800 part per million can be a great way once you get everything initially set to kind of go through any last checks just to make sure you're ready if you're looking at trying different levels or to determine if this is going to work for your operation.